Today we're going over something that no one seems to be talking about, and that is in-game voice chat communication. Let's get into it. Camp Facer. Hey campers, Camp Faser here. Welcome back to another Texas Chainsaw Massacre the Game video. Today's video is going over in-game voice chat communication, how we're going to communicate with each other. Are we using walkie-talkies? Is it going to be proximity chat? To those of you guys that don't know what proximity chat means, it's basically when you're close to another player in the game and you're talking without using... Um, a form of uh, like a walkie-talkie or anything like it's it's you're talking out loud and the further away that your partner walks down the hall or around a corner his voice gets lower and lower until the point where you cannot hear him anymore that's called proximity chat it's like realistic real life like, like if your friend is playing with you out in the street and he starts running down the road Further and further he goes away, you're not going to be able to hear him anymore unless he's shouting and then his voice just disappears. Now, that in multiplayer games is an excellent, immersive way to have communication set up. Like in Friday the 13th, the game, they had that, but then if you found a walkie-talkie, you could communicate across the entire map as long as the other uh, player had a walkie-talkie. Now, in this game, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, now this is based... Around 1974, the months leading up to the movie. Uh, so, back in the 70s, they didn't really have walkie-talkies in everybody's hand, basically. I'm sure you could get your hands on one eventually, but in this movie, in this, in this role of these characters going to find their friend Maria Flores, they're not walking with walkie-talkies or cell phones in their pockets. They're, they just went looking for their friend. That being said, it would have to be proximity chat in the game. I would think that if they had walkies, it wouldn't be realistic, right? Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because t up to this point in time, since they announced this game about a year ago, I don't know how it went over my head, but I assumed that that's what this game is going to be, proximity chat. I thought that's what it was until I went to Reddit last night and I saw one of the developers mention that they decided to go the party chat route like from the beginning. And I, I don't know how I missed that, but to me, that breaks immersion. And they said they had to do it because of uh, balance issues, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm trying to get the answers from Gun Interactive right now because I just want to know why they decided to go party chat when i say party chat i mean right away he when the match starts from beginning of the match to, to the end of the match a player is going to be able to talk out loud to any other victim player on their team whether they're all the way up outside and in, in the back barn and the other player is down in the basement they're just going to be able to communicate back and forth I get that that's going to make the, it easier to complete objectives, but in a way, it's going to be too easy, and it's going to break immersion. That doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel uh, natural or realistic to me. I would love it to be like, uh, the further away somebody goes, and say you find the key or something to open a certain door, you got to go find that person to tell them, hey... Hey, over here, I got the key. You don't want to be too loud, but you like you finally find their voice. It catches up to wherever you're running to. Maybe you found them in the back room. That makes a game more realistic and more immersed into that game. Again, you guys, I don't want to be all the way up outside and find some kind of uh, a key to an objective and say, Hey, whoever's in the basement, um, I got this key, and then them be like, oh, okay, that was easy, just meet me over here, because uh, the hitchhiker and, and Drayton are off in the front yard, so just come through the back. That'll be way too easy, I, I don't know about that. And not only that, how scary would it be if you were in proximity chat, and not party chat, and you're walking through a hall, and you're, you're trying to be like, hey, you guys, where are you? And you can't hear them, 
But then you go down the hall and all of a sudden you, you see like this doorway and you don't know because um, Leatherface is hiding around the corner with his chainsaw off and he's being quiet, but he knows you're coming. And the closer you get to this hall door, all of a sudden this happens. <laughs> Damn, that would be scary as hell, you guys. And that would only work if there wasn't party chat. Because if you're in party chat and you're walking down that hall... You'd be like, hey, where are you guys? And they'd be, they might say, hey, well, Leatherface was up there. He might be right near you. Watch out. And, and you're going to be expecting that. Or, or they're going to be talking to you as you're walking down this hall. And as they're talking to you through the whole match or, or goofing off or whatever they're saying or um, making silly noises, it's going to break the immersion uh, unless they were close by. Now, um, one of the developers said, he, since he stated the facts he said, I think it was Andy from Gun. He said, our game is going to start with uh, party chat on both both teams. So the, the victims hear each other from beginning of the match to the end of the match. And the family members, the killers, also hear each other from beginning of the match to the end of the match. Now both sides can't talk to each other. And that's probably why there's voice lines... Um, voice actors that um, acted their voice out in the game because because you can't hear the actual online player killer talk to you like if you're a victim he can't like say leatherface walks by you and you're a victim the online player won't be able to talk trash to you or whatever but maybe he'll like grunt and make the leatherface voice acting noises every once in a while or same with the hitchhiker or 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 drayton might walk by and be like um you're not going to hide forever or whatever. You know what I mean? Like maybe that's why there's voice acting to play the role from each, like one side hears a voice acting and the other side hears a voice acting coming from the victims and so on. But if you're on that particular team, you don't hear the voice acting of your party, your teammates. You just hear the in-game chat. Now, I, again, you guys, I don't know the reasoning why they went the route of uh, not doing proximity. But can you imagine, again, like... If I went upstairs to the second floor and I found something to unlock or complete an objective down in the basement, I'm going to be able to immediately say, hey, I found such and such key or whatever, and I'm, everybody on my team is going to be able to hear me, and it seems kind of like cheating in a way, per se. I don't know. I don't know how I like that. And not only that, it's going to make it, it's going to make teaming easy. Like, let's just say I unlock the, I shut off the power to the electric fence to unlock the, the, the exit to the map. And, and Leatherface, I see him in the back corner of the house. Now I can just tell my teammates, hey, you guys, everybody, I unlocked the, the, the gate. Leatherface is in the back of the map. He's just messing around. You have all the time in the world to go out the front door. It's like you're giving everything away. Too easy. Now, if there was proximity chat and there wasn't party chat, I would have to shut off the generator and then be like, oh, crap. Well, Leatherface is in the back corner of the house. I have to now make my way in the house and go tell them guys when I get close enough to them so they can hear my voice. Hey, you guys. The, the gate is open. Leatherface was out in the back, but I don't know where he is now. Then it would have to be, you know, it's obviously going to be a lot harder, but that's what we want. We want to be immersed in these horror movie situations and make it realistic to the point where it might be near to impossible to escape. But that's what makes a game rewarding. When you finally do get out... You're going to tell your friends, like, holy crap, I played 25 matches and I only got out once. That's what makes it more fun. I mean, balancing it, you could make it balanced a little bit. Maybe if it's too hard, I get that. But, uh, again, I don't know Gunn's decision here, why they did it, why they went the other route. Now, let me just get something straight, too. This is not breaking the game for me, going the party chat route. It's not like I'm going to say, oh, I'm not buying the game anymore. I'm not going to play it. I'm not. Don't get me wrong, you guys. I'm not bitching here. I'm just concerned. And I'm, I'm not really even arguing. I'm just trying to have a conversation on 
why I think it would be better with proximity. But if Gunn explains their balance issue, maybe I would completely understand. Uh, maybe there's an, an, an issue where a certain character can't do an objective in Unless they had like another player go up the, to like uh, the power fuse box and help them out to do it, and to do that, it, it would be near to impossible if there was proximity because you would have to find that one particular player, and maybe it just wasn't working out. Uh, but even as, even if so, if that was the case, maybe that player when he needed to finally party chat with that player, but he can't because of his proximity. Maybe like gun could implement a mechanic that when they get to that objective and they now need that player there can be some form of a button or something that communicates to them immediately only in that span time that they need that particular player again i don't know my my stomach's growling here <laughs> i don't know the reasoning behind this but i've been having a lot of talks behind the scenes on discord with my friends and so on about this and a lot of players, you know what, it, it's kind of mind-boggling how no one seems to really care. I, I've been telling people, and they're like, ah, eh, who cares, meh. Like, what's the big deal, camp? Well, it's 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 a horror game that you want to be able to feel like you're immersed, where you have to find your friends to tell them down the hall. You don't want to just, you know, the match starts up. Hey, everybody, I know where you're all located. Uh, yeah, we can go anywhere we want and just stay in communication. That, to me, doesn't seem as scary as uh, going the other route here. Now, again, you guys, I want to say that I have traveled to Texas. I went to this house, and obviously the game is going to be a lot bigger inside, and they actually added um, tunnels underneath. That, to me, is cool because um, I thought to myself when I went to the house, I'm like, how could a whole entire match go through a few rooms and then upstairs, you know, and uh, obviously outside. But I'm glad that they added extras like underground tunnels and um, a couple more rooms to the to this whole situation here. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about this. I know I'm not done yet. I'm going to I got to think here for a second if there was anything else I wanted to touch base on on this party chat uh, communication in game. Uh now I do I do also understand uh, they don't want the victims to hear the the family members talking. That's fine with me. That decision there is a hundred percent awesome. I, I agree with that. That's cool. As long as the characters' voice lines kind of come out and say something cool every once in a while to make it a little more immerse. Uh, uh, give them character. Give them life by grunting or or saying like um you can't hide forever or. You know what I mean? Or you shouldn't be messing around with no house. You teenagers shouldn't be around here no more. You know, something like that would be cool. Uh, but other than that, I just feel like they, you know, the whole... Some people were saying, oh, camp, it's because of uh, balancing issues. That's why there's not proximity chat. Because there would be teamers. And I'm like, what? It would be the other way around. Teamers would be doing party chat, not proximity chat. Party chat is where teamers go on, like, um, uh, private party chat on PlayStation, and they, you know, you're playing Friday the 13th, and they're, like, in, like, they're uh, spectating, they got killed already, and their friend's still alive. They'd be like, hey, uh, Jason, or, or, or say, like, uh, their friend is Jason, and, and, uh, they're either dead or alive, and they're in party chat with the Jason player. They're telling the Jason player where everyone's located. There's no getting around um, a private party chat. I get that. But if the real good players that do play the right way and play in-game chat like they're supposed to, like the I'm talking the real players, not the, the cheaters. Uh, I'm talking the real players that do the in-game chat are going to, you know be more immersed and do it the right way and that would be um obviously if there's proximity chat anyways that's it for the video today i want to know what you guys think about this please leave a comment down below and and i want to know your thoughts on this please i want to see a lot of comments i want to see you guys comment away we, i want to have a discussion about this uh i want to know if you know anything more than i do about this issue 
again, it's even if we go the route of party chat, I'm still going to play it. It's going to be fun. Uh, it just won't be as fun to me. Um, I want to know, you guys, uh, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider. I appreciate every single one of you guys. You guys are my campers. All right, you guys. Camp Facer sucks. Put it in the comments. I want to see the devil horns. Camp Facer sucks. And as always, campers, stay out of the woods.